Morning, how are you today? Fine, thanks. Do you want anything ironed? Uh, no. Clean shirt or something? No, I've got one already, Mum. No, but tonight, Cindy do. Oh, blimey, you're keen. It's only half eight. Yeah, I don't want to rush later on. I've got a lot on. Can have my hair done for a start. What do you think? Yeah, why not? Treat yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to push the boat out a bit. Get myself a new few bits and pieces, you know. You're going to have a lot of trouble for Cindy and Ian, aren't you? Mm, well, I need a new image. Well, changing your image ain't going to solve anything. What's that supposed to mean, David? Well, if Frank decides to come back, you can dye your hair sky blue pink. It ain't going to stop him. I don't want to talk about him today. Talk about who? No one. I'm sorry, is this a private conversation? No, no, no. It's just part of my life. It's over and done with, that's all. He may be out of your life, but he's still a part of mine as long as my job's under threat. Oh, God, Frank. Look, we've got to talk about it tonight before we go out. Tonight's a special night. I don't want it ruined by talking about Frank. As far as I'm concerned, he don't exist anymore. Sorry, Mum, but you're wrong, and you know it. Doors on wheels. <coughs> what? Oh, hello, mate. No, no, I'm not buying anything in at the moment. Well, I've got a bit of sorting out to do down there, you know what it's like. Hopefully it'll just be temporary. Yeah, well, you know, give us a ring in a couple of weeks. All right, ta-da. Miss Stevens off by the end of the week. I mean, you should have heard the coughing in the classroom. Sound like a chest clinic down the Mile End Road. What are you doing? Looking for serviettes. I just thought we had some. I thought my auntie may have bought some for our wedding. Well, I've got millions in the shop. They're paper. Well, what's wrong with paper? You people are only going to blow their nose on them at the end of the day. Don't judge everybody by your own standards, mm, Ian. All right, I'll go down the market. I'll get you some of them fancy paper ones, coloured if you like. No, I want proper ones. Linen. I want to do this properly, right? All right, all right, it's your show. Right, there you go. Why are you at it? Best rump? I mean, are you sure about that? I mean, what are you cooking? Beef stroganoff. Oh, come on, you can make stroganoff with a cheaper cut than best rump. Ian, I want this to be really special, for Pat's sake. All right, but, I mean, do we have to spend this much money? Oh, Ian, don't be horrible. Uh, that's what the lady wants, then. That's what the lady shall have. Hey, I thought that was illegal. Hello, mate. I'm changing the plates, not the number. It's all a bit of fun, you see. If the plates are new, the punter thinks the car is. What, well, people, that's stupid. Well, there's a lot of mugs in this world, isn't there? Uh, oh, I'm not talking about certain punters like yourself, of course. No, I'm glad to hear it. Anyway, I hope you've got an appetite for tonight. Oh, yeah, what's that? Well, Cindy's really pushing the boat out. She's got a shopping list as long as you're on. Oh, right. <laughs> Should be a good night. Yeah, I'm looking forward All to right, it. I'll see you later, mate. Tell you, mate. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. My arms are at least a foot longer. Oh, did you get the coriander? Oh, thanks for getting the stuff for me, darling. It's all right. I don't mind. No problem. Thanks for getting the stuff. Did you get the coriander? Ah, uh, didn't have any. Why didn't you try somewhere else? I wasn't going traipsing all over Walford with that lot. Now, what do you need coriander for with beef stroganoff? For the starter. Well, use mixed herbs. No. Come on, look, it's only Pat Roy and David. Can't I make do with a couple of scoops of chips? No, she's been for a lot, Ian, recently. I really want it to be nice for her. Where are you going? What do you think? To get the coriander? Oh, and another thing. I didn't get the wine you had in the list. Why not? It was nearly six quid a bottle. Oh, keep an eye on that sort of thing. Yeah, well, don't be too long. Love, I want to get back to the chip, mate. Exactly what I had in mind. Um, do you want me to bring anything? No, just yourself. I'll do better than that. I'll bring a nice bottle of wine. Good idea. Any sort in particular? Uh, no, just as long as it's more than six minutes. Hey? Long story. I hope you're more relaxed than last time. Yeah, well, things have changed since then, haven't they? Just a bit. What are you up to? Nothing. Just taking care of things. <sighs> you're a saint, you are. Yeah. But I'm not being a sinner. Oh. I hope you like coriander. Tonight, isn't it? What's that? First of the classes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Man, what I'd give to be a fly on the wall, I can tell you. Yeah? You know, it's strange that... First of all, I weren't that sure about it, but... Well, me and Kath had a bit of a, you know, a natter about it, and... Well, now I think it's a... It's a really good idea. Cheers, mate, I'm really grateful to you. 
Well, yeah. I mean, the, the 90s are pretty soulless, aren't they, really? You know, spiritually bereft. I, yeah. I think it's a really good idea that a bloke should get in touch with his, you know, his feminine, maternal side. Have you ever thought about doing veggie burgers? Well, what do you think? Sensational. Sure. Absolutely. Are you gorgeous? Oh, tell. Why are you still in your dressing gown? Because I've been waiting to get in the bar for the last hour. <laughs> Which earrings? Uh, those. Don't you like those? Well, well, yeah, yeah. It, it's just that I think those are more suitable. I'm just teasing, silly. You happy? Never happier. No regrets. Oh, Roy, don't start spoiling things, please. Sorry, I just can't help thinking about it. We're going to have a wonderful night, love. Thanks, gone. That's that. So let's hear no more about it, eh? Right, it's the next on the left. No, no, not this one. The next one. Oh, that's the second left. Oh, you know what I mean. It's here, here. What's the matter? I don't know. I don't believe this. We're going to be late. Well, I can't see what it is. Some mechanic you on. I ain't got a tool, have I? It'd be one of a million things. <sighs> yeah, I thought it weren't running as good as it should be, it's funny. Oh, hilarious. So what are we gonna do? Well, I can't leave it around here. The wheels will be up inside five minutes, so I'll have to call Ricky. Oh, yeah, the mood he's in at the moment. Oh, he'll be all right. Look, I'll, uh... I'll call you a cab. There's no point in you missing it. And, uh, well, I'll get Ricky to tow it in. And I'll join up with you later, all right? Got it all worked out, haven't you? I'm just as disappointed as you are. I'm going to uh, find a phone box now. Lock the door till I get back, all right? Thanks. <laughs> oh, this smells very nice. Well, it must be coming from next door because we're having fish and chips. Oh, huh? Oh, well, you won't be wanting these then. Yeah, well, I was only joking. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past you. Uh, <laughs> where's Cindy? Oh, she's just getting rid of it. No, I'm not. Her. Hi, everybody. Hi. Cindy, you look lovely. You don't look so bad yourself, Pat. Uh, okay. Cindy, love, it was very nice of you to invite us. Oh, no, it's my pleasure. Um, Ian, look, I'm going to go and check on the food. Uh, give everyone a drink. Yeah, sure. Do you want to hand out there, Cindy? No, I'm all right for the moment. Sure. Thanks. All right, what can I get everyone? Uh, beer, wine, something stronger? Oh, um, well, wine. wine. We have some of that then. Oh, Chateau bottled, eh? Very nice. Well, I thought it was, uh, Cindy was going to so much trouble, it was at least like a bit. Oh, hi. Kathy Mitchell. Kathy, hi, we're expecting you. And your partner, Phil? Uh, husband. You won't believe this, but he's got this big old jag. It's kind of broken down on the way here. He's waiting for the pickup truck now. Will he be coming on? Well, he better be. Oh, well. Come through, meet the others. Hi. Hello. Hi. This is Kathy, everybody. Hi. Oh, yeah. Sorry I'm late. Uh, car trouble. Right, everyone. Shall we start? OK? Find a space with your partners anywhere you like. Which line? Anywhere you like. Let's relax. Close our eyes. Breathe slowly. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. that is with us for our whole existence. In, out. From the moment we arrive until the moment we depart. Out. In, out. The essential rhythm of life itself. Well, that was lovely, Cindy. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, that was delicious. What's it called again? Uh, Herrera. It's from Morocco. It's very unusual oh. taste, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's the coriander. Has to be coriander, doesn't it, love? Mm -hmm. oh. Can I have some more wine, please, David? Mm. There you go. You don't want to have this one? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine, love. This is lovely wine, you know. Yeah, let's have some more. Oh, thank you. Well, steady on a bit, love. You ain't off knocking it back. <laughs> Excuse me, and this is from somebody who had to be practically poured out of Ted Hill's dick. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you there, mate, yeah. aren't I? It worked then. Like a dream. Just cut out. Silence. Nice one, bro. Natural genius, I suppose. Oh, 
Large gin and tonic, please, Grant. Coming up, sir. Class finished? No, I never made it. The, uh, the motor died in there. Oh, where's Kathleen? Well, she had to get a cab. Uh, well, it wouldn't do for the mother to miss it, would it? This will be our first baby. We've been trying for about three years. Right. Uh, I'm 30. The girl's a bit older. <laughs> Only a little bit. <laughs> and we both want to... We need to go through the whole experience together as much as possible. Thank you, Maria. Well, we really support that need. We feel the father's role in the whole process of pregnancy is a vital one for the whole nine months. Well, I feel certainly enjoyed the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shame you couldn't get here, Cathy. Well, it'll be here next week, promise. Good. Let's carry on with this get-to-know-you session, shall we? Cathy. Hey? Tell us a bit about yourself. Oh, right, yeah, uh, well, uh, my name's Cathy Mitchell. Uh, I'm seven months pregnant, and this will be my third child. In fact, I'm already a grandmother. But uh, something like this when I had my first two, I just sort of went into hospital and had them. <laughs> so, I'd, uh, I'd finished my national service, and I had uh, 20 quid in my pocket, you know. <laughs> the piece of paper. Oh, they said I was qualified to work on Bedford Trucks. <laughs> and uh, no, I, I, <laughs> and I, I answered this ad uh, for the war department somewhere in Nottingham, you see. And I went along there and I bought three old army trucks and I told them on within the week. Oh, and the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> David. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, David, you better take it easy, love. Yeah. All right, on your head, here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Strange, isn't it, Pat? Are the two men in your life happen to be in the motor trade? Oh, David and Roy? <laughs> yes, what is it about car salesmen, eh? Natural charm, eh, Roy? <laughs> yeah, something like that. To be honest, I haven't given it much thought. No, I'm really pleased you can make it tonight. It's so great to see you happy together. Well, that's very kind of you, Cindy. I'm so pleased things have worked out for you. I mean, uh, you know, the way Frank behaved, it must have been awful for you. Look, I'm sure there's some more struggle <clears> left <throat> if anybody would like to. No, no, no. Well, personally, I hope he's gone forever. Cindy. It's all oh. right. Me and all. Um, how's the wine going down, Cindy? Lovely, Tom. Mind you, Pat, it can't be easy for you, can it? Because, I mean, technically you're still married, aren't you? Yeah. Look, should we just leave it there, eh? That's OK, I don't mind talking about it. Frank's gone, I'm with Roy now, and that's all there is to it. Yeah. <laughs> right, love? I hope so. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbour's wife, eh? Bigger part. <laughs> What's in the Bible? Didn't know you was religious, Cindy. Not really, but I was proper Catholic. Yeah, and you know what they say, once a Catholic. <laughs> well, it's true. Some of the things they said to drill into me, like, really stuck. I mean, like the Ten Commandments. What was number one? Thou shalt have none other gods but me. Mm. Brilliant. Well done. <coughs> Miss, then I went to your talent. Oh, I used to get packed off to Sunday school when I was a kid. Number eight, thou shalt not steal. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out number seven this week goes, thou shalt not commit adultery. It's the only one I know. Hang on. What about murder? Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it was a shame we didn't have any religious questions in the pub quiz. I mean, we'd have stormed it. Yeah, but no one cares about those things, do they, anymore? I mean, who plays the Ten Commandments these days? Especially number seven. Oh, you don't want a cup of tea or something before you go? Oh, no, thanks. I don't have to keep stopping. You know when it's like when those little feet start tap dancing on your bladder? Can't wait, can you? It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> so, what did you think? Oh, interesting. And different. How? Different. Well, in my day, uh, you just did what you were told. You went into hospital, out they came, and didn't give it much thought. I really hope your partner can come next week, because we're going to get down to the more fundamental stuff. Like what? Role reversal. We asked the men to put themselves in your place, to envisage the process of birth, to imagine the pain and the joy of producing a child. It helps them to understand the female experience. Some of the men really get into it, really empathise. Do you think you'd find that useful? Phil? Yeah, well, well he'll get used to it. Don't, well, there's no morals anymore, is there? People lie, cheat. Sell dodgy second-hand motors. Yeah, but do they get away with it? I have, Roy. I wish you told me that before I bought that Volvo off you. I'm serious. I mean, uh -huh. People just jump in and out of marriage like there's no tomorrow, don't they? I mean, things happen. People carrying on. Yeah, or their neighbours or their friends' wives. <laughs> yes, but no-one understands what leads them to it. No. I mean, why can't people just be who they want to be with? I mean, morals, they're just someone else's opinions, aren't they? And who's to say they're right? <laughs>
If Pat and I want to be together, then what's wrong with that? It's got nothing to do with Frank, is it? If you love each other, then you should just be together, shouldn't you? I mean, people change. Things move on. No one should stop two people being together if they really want to. Oh, sorry, God, oh, bro. No, 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 Oh, no, thanks. How'd it go? Brilliant. So, uh, you got the car running then, did you? Yeah, I think it was uh, just a bit of mucky petrol exams. Well, I'm glad you got it going, all right. I was really worried about you. Well, Mum's cooking dinner upstairs as soon as I finish this. We go up, eh? Well, it's no rush. So, how was the class? Good? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed it. Oh, it was only the first one. Uh, sort of like an introduction, really. But, um, Nicky and Ben, we really get down to it next week. Nicky and Ben? Oh, yeah, they're lovely. Just ordinary, like us, you know. You'll really like them, Phil. Yeah, well, hopefully I'll make it next week. Oh, you will, because uh, we'll get a cab and make sure. And if there's no cabs, then we'll walk. But one way or the other, you'll be there. Right? Right. Louise off. Another couple of minutes, you'll be telling them all about us. I'm sorry, but I don't care. Well, I do. No. I mean, we agree we can't rush this, can we? No. No. I just want to make sure that you mean it when you say you love me. I do. I just want to make sure that, that you're going to take me and the kids away from here. Yeah, I will, you know I will. Yeah, well then say it. Oh, for God's sake, Cindy. Please. I promise I'll take you and the kids away from this. Well, I'm still sure. How's the dress? It's all right. Well, it's, um, it's an interesting pattern. Yeah, I yeah. don't come out yet. Yeah. Just send me the cleaning bill, right? Oh, come on. Don't be <laughs> silly, now. Right, everyone get the glasses. Oh, what in the hell? Yeah, I want to propose a toast. Oh, Mum. Oh, 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 Roy. Oh. oh right. That's always that one. To Pat and Roy. Right. <laughs> oh. To Pat and Roy. Mum. To a wonderful future. 